Hey guys, so this is going to be a, another haul video, which is kind of ridiculous, but um, it, I went to the makeup show with my good friend Gigi. She also went with me to IMAT, so um, I'm just going to be showing you guys very quickly, quick, quick, very quickly what I got. I didn't go crazy, even though I wanted to, but I like made sure I stuck to my list just because I had so I had bought so many things from IMAT and I just didn't want to go crazy again so I kind of just stuck with the things that I mainly needed for either my kit or for myself so yeah if you guys want to see what I got at the makeup show then just keep on watching okay so the very first thing that I went in for like the main thing that I wanted to get at the makeup show was from uh, the parent or parent spirit so what they are is a company of like makeup solvents like makeup brush cleaners so I got the huge bottle from them of the makeup cleaner this smells like an orange like I'm not even kidding you like if you peeled an orange and you just put orange peeled oranges into this bottle like that's exactly what it smells like on the Beautylish website this got a lot of good reviews and people were saying that it just cleans everything off really quickly from your brushes so I decided to get the bigger size one and I actually saved money on it because it's uh, normally $30 they said and this is 32 ounces sorry so they said uh, it's $30 but because of the makeup show they gave you a discount of $5 so I ended up getting it for $25 and I also got along with it this little jar so this jar was $5 um, there normally it was like 6 or something like that but it has a little sifter like mesh sponge in it which just looks like this it's just like a two-parter type of thing so what you do is you fill it up with the cleanser and then you just dip your brush in and you swivel it into the mesh part and when you bring the brush out it's a like completely clean of makeup and just while we're on the topic of brush cleaners I also got another thing sort of like that one it's the Vera Mona color switch duo so this is what the packaging looks like it's just a tin can I'll show you I'll show you. It's just a tin can like this. And this is a duo one, and I'll show you why in a second. And this is what it looks like inside. So this mesh part right here, um, you dip the brush into a makeup solution, a makeup uh, remover. You dip the brush in there, and then you just wiggle it around in the mesh part right here, like the stippling sponge part. And it's supposed to just completely remove all makeup from the brushes. And then this middle part right here is if you want to reuse the brush that you just cleaned, but you also want to make the shadows look really pigmented, you fill this up with like water or like some type of makeup um, mixing solution. So you put the brush in here, then you dip it into your shadow. And when you put it on your eyelid, it's supposed to be like the most vibrant color that it can be. So I just got the dual one because... Um, it was $16 I believe and then the single one which is just the mesh part it was $13 so I was like for $3 more I might as well just get something that will do two things so that's why I just got the duo one then I went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium and they just kind of have like a hoopla of different um, companies there they have like Ben Nye they have RCMA they have beauty blenders they just have everything so from there I just got a couple things um, I got the beauty blender ones I got the ones that bring two because they were $22 and then I got separately from that I got the beauty cleanser solid so they had a like a promo type of thing where it was two beauty blenders this and like an iPhone charm or something like that and it was $40 but I didn't need the iPhone charm I don't put charms on my iPhone and this was $22 and this was $13 so it ended up saving me $5 buying it separately than buying it all together but I just wanted to get another beauty blender set because mine are starting to wear down I've had them for like two years or so um, then I got lashes because they were having a sale where it was seven lashes for $15 no sorry seven lashes for 12 for $10 or 15 lashes for 20 so I just went for the 15 because I I need lashes for my kit and for myself and I just thought the more that I have it'll end up saving me money in the long run so I'm not going to show you all 15 of them. So this is just like the first one that I have here. It's the number 80. I can't tell you the brand because it doesn't have a brand here. It just all it says is Garland made in Indonesia. So I don't know. I can't tell you. But and then there's like number 43. So there's some that are really dramatic, some that are more natural just because depending on the look that you're going for, you need different types of lashes. So from there, I got my hand on the paw palette. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm not removing the paper until I'm actually going to use it, but this is what it's going to look like. It's just like pink glitter 
a pink glitter heart. So what you do with this is this little strap over here, you um, size it to your hand. So you wear it on the back of your hand. It's not supposed to budge. And instead of having to mix things on the back of your hand, you mix it on this. So your, your the back of your hand ends up being clean even after you're doing somebody's makeup or your own because I do that myself I put foundation on the back of my hand um, when I'm gonna go apply it on my skin so now I don't have to have stained hands I can use it on here so that was good this was $15 then I also got from I think it was friends uh, friends beauty I got that was where I got the the um, what is it called the color switch duo but I also just got an extra little palette uh, just to also apply things in the back of just in case I can't find my paw palette or I just need an extra one I just got a little one. I can't tell you how much this was. I think it was like $3 or something And then I just got a uh, spatula. This one is a double-ended spatula and it's flexible Just because you always just need a good spatula just to take products out of a pan or a pot or anything So that and this was $3 and then the last couple things that I have um, are both from Scandinavia We were walking by the Alcone booth and they just had so many things there and I was attracted to the Scandinavia bottles because I have the ones from Urban Decay but I just feel like they don't last as long as they advertise so I was talking to the Scandinavia lady and I was gonna get another um, Scandinavia like all-nighter type of spray and she was like well if you have oily skin why don't you try this so she was telling me to try the makeup primer spray so it's oil control this is supposed to help even out your skin tone reduce the appearance of large pores and prevent breakouts so this is what it looks like it's just like in a green bottle this is for oily skin they also have one for like dry skin and then I also just got the makeup finishing spray. So this one is a primer. You put it on before you apply your makeup. And this one you apply after to just make sure everything sets and doesn't budge. So yeah, this one um, helps prevent makeup from fading, creasing, and melting. Absorbs quickly and lasts for up to 16 hours. So we'll see. And it says here that you're supposed to spray two to four times in an X and T formation. So a lot you're just gonna do X and then you're just gonna do T and then you just let it like absorb into your skin um and yeah that was oh wait nope I lied the last thing that I got was from this um, company called the powder group and I just got some face charts I'm so excited so yeah I got three packs so it was three for 20 each pack brings 10 um, 10 face charts so I got two of the full face ones and then I just got one pack of the dual face ones. So it is going to be really exciting. I'm so excited to try these out. You don't even know. Like I'm just so excited. Because you can try new, new looks on there. Um, it will also give you a better understanding of how to apply makeup on other people. Even though it's just a face chart. Like you have to know your way around the face obviously. So I like this. And I'm going to be practicing looks on it. And then hopefully applying it to my own skin after. That was my whole New York City um, makeup show haul. It wasn't crazy like I'm at, but it was. Just, I'm. I'm pretty proud of myself. I kind of stayed to a budget and I stuck to a, a list, and I think I did okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't go crazy again like I did in I'm at. That was just way too much. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any like requests down below. Um, all the links will be down below as well as the products that I bought. The names of them will be listed down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.